this time around. Was Pat, Pat Lamana going to be the feature there? Pat Lamana is going to be the Rock Tavern feature next month. I think I've got it. Um, May 7th will be Ben Grosscup or Grosscup. Then Pat Lamana will be our feature. And then Poughkeepsie will be Vince Fisher. Oh, cool. You got Vince. I didn't know you knew him. Hi, Keith. How are you? Good. Thank you. Hi, Keith. Are you interested in singing tonight? Hello, Keith. No, I'm um, not tonight. Thank you. Okay. Good, good to see you, Keith. Thanks. And I like your, your moniker, your name. <laughs> he, he, he just switched over to... <laughs> That, okay. I, I, I have the strong suspicion you use this for work. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take over. <laughs> John is our host, yeah, <laughs> but, but you're you're so um, you're being so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All good. I'm uh, got three more minutes to go. Oh, okay. You've got I've got seven thirty-two yeah. already. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Yes, sorry about that. I'm looking at my for whatever reason my laptop clock is slow. Ah. Uh. So yeah, let's get the show on the road. I moved everybody up. Let me put the list up. So Blair, I am going to have you go number three, if that's okay with you. Okay, you can turn sideways. Did you hear me, Blair? I am going to have you go number three, if that's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I just posted the list. Okay, I will mute everybody. And, well... I'll, I'll, I'll spotlight you for it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll mute myself in a second. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Poughkeepsie chapter of the Hudson Valley Folk Guild. Please make welcome Don and Maureen Black. Thank you. Did you turn? No, no. Go ahead and oh. show them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned you might be thinking of Chuck, Bro Chuck Brodsky today. I'll, well, we'll tell you why after the song and why that's what happened 75 years ago yesterday. Here's a hint. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Do you know why we brought you here? You bellowed with a gleam. You're here to play in Brooklyn. If you can make the team, I know that you can hit the ball, but there's more to discuss. What I need to know from you is if you have the guts. When they bring the scorn upon you, you'll have to turn the other cheek. You need to stand your ground in silence, up against the heat. If you lose your head, they've got you, so this will be our path. I need to know that you have got the strength to not fight back. So we stood inside the batter's box and took what they could throw, a book fastball to the head or reminders of Jim Crow. They spiked him on the base paths, they cursed him from the stands, even his own manager said he was half a man. But his hitting was electric, he ran in no time flat. He heard all of the taunting and he answered with his bat. It's a hard road to travel, but he didn't draw the map. He stood in a long line of those with the strength to not fight back. From a man who held a bullhorn on the streets of the Castro, to Mahatma's March in India and Kent State, Ohio, to a jail cell in South Africa where a man learned to forgive, 
to a lunch counter in Greensboro and the Edmund Pettus Bridge. To a mighty march in Washington astride a sea of men. To lessons of humility from a man from Bethlehem. He said to love your neighbors, forgive those who attack. And as he died, he showed he had the strength to not fight back. The strength to not fight back against the vicious fist. The strength to not fight back and the power to resist. When they laughed at them or froze them out, or when they brushed them back, somehow inside they could find the strength to not fight back. Crossroads, we stand there every day. Can we check our pride or must we escalate? With a neighbor, a co worker, a policeman, or a clerk, or when somebody cuts us off when we're driving home from work? Jackie, how'd you do it? How'd you turn the other cheek? When you felt the rage swell up, you never said a peep. By power of example, you more than kept your pact. You showed us all how to find the strength to not fight back. Oh, the strength to not fight back, to stand the higher ground. The strength to not fight back, to speak without a sound. When they laugh at us or freeze us out, or when they brush us back, somehow inside we can find the strength to not fight back. Somehow inside we must find the strength to not fight back. Yesterday was Jackie Robinson Day. 75 Robinson. years ago, on April 15th, Jackie Robinson played for the first time. Ooh, and Brooklyn. coincidentally, <clears throat> that man from Bethlehem is commemorated tomorrow. Okay. This song is by, oh, that, by the way, was written by Aaron Nathans. And it's called The Strength to Not Fight Back. This is a song called Skull Crusher Mountain by Jonathan Colton. Ready? <laughs> On Skull Crusher Mountain. I hope that you've enjoyed your stay so far. I see you've met my assistant Scarface. His appearance is quite disturbing, but I assure you he's harmless enough. He's a sweetheart who calls me master, and he has a way of finding pretty things and bringing them to me. Oh, and I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. If you could find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, you'd see the voices that control me from inside my head say I shouldn't kill you yet. Half pony, half monkey monster to please you. But I get the feeling that you don't like it. What's with all the screaming? You like monkeys, you like ponies. Maybe you don't like monsters so much. Maybe I use too many monkeys. Isn't it enough to know that I ruined a pony? Make it a gift for you. Oh, and I'm so into you, but I'm way too smart for you. Even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. If you could find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, you'd see the voices that control me. From inside my head say I shouldn't kill you yet. Picture the two of us alone inside my golden submarine. 
While up above the waves my doomsday squad ignites the atmosphere And all those fools who live their foolish lives will find it quite explosive But it won't mean half as much to me if I don't have you here You know it isn't easy living here on Skullcrusher Mountain Maybe you could cut me just a little slack Would it kill you to be civil? I've been patient, I've been gracious And this mountain is covered with wolves Hear them howling, my hungry children Maybe you should stay and have another drink And think about me and you Oh, I'm so into you But I'll play too smart for you even my henchmen think I'm crazy. I'm not surprised that you agree. If you could find some way to be a little bit less afraid of me, you'd see the voices that control me from inside my head say, I shouldn't kill you yet. I shouldn't kill you yet. I shouldn't kill you. Jonathan Colton, Skull Crusher Mountain. Thank you very much, Donna Maureen. Mad scientist in love. Mad <laughs> scientist in love. Thank you. A couple people came in during the playing. Bill Matten, do you want to play? Do you want to perform?